I'm Jewel. Thank you for tuning in to SDA. Please like and subscribe. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved painting. My favorite artist was Georgia O'Keeffe. Once I felt so inspired by her works that I started painting the walls of my room, and then my parents walked in. Ah! Is that fire? Did somebody say fire? Oh! It's not fire, Mom. It's just paint. See? This is a mess. When will you stop playing around with paint? Oh, Jewel, we've told you to invest your time better by reading and becoming a lawyer. Well, I don't want to be a lawyer. I'm going to be an artist. My parents were big-time politicians who gave me almost everything I asked for. But life with them wasn't easy. Thanks to their career, they were always obsessing over what the media and people would say about them, but they wouldn't let me live a normal life. I wasn't even allowed to wear the same outfit twice. Oh, honey, didn't I just buy you a dozen Gucci gown for this party? But mom, I love this gown. And besides, I've only worn it once. Listen to your mom and wear the new one. I don't want people wagging their tongues that I can't take care of my family. Apart from being obsessed with what people were or were not saying about them, my parents were also paranoid of my safety. I wasn't even allowed to go to school without my personal security guards. Thanks to that, most of my classmates shied away from me. Hey, I'm Jewel. Can we be friends? Um, I gotta go. And the ones who didn't shy away practically kissed my feet just to roll with me, and I hated that. Hey, I love your hairdo. I'm sure your parents paid a ton for it. Everything you wear is so chic. This hair is like this because I haven't combed it for three days now. Oh, well, uh, it's still gorgeous. The situation at school made me very lonely, and it didn't help that my parents wanted me to be their only child. No matter what I did, they wouldn't budge on the matter. One day, we were shopping, and I was so drawn by the cute little things in the baby section. Mom, isn't this onesie cute? Uh, true. But there's no one in our family it would fit. I grinned because Mom had fallen into my trap with those words. Can't we just buy it now and keep it for when you have my baby brother or sister? Please! Mind that you say the public. The tablets can be anywhere. Jewel, you have all the toys in the world. How could you possibly be lonely? I won't ruin my shape to get another baby. And adopt. No, no way. way! My parents had more than enough to take care of a dozen more children, so I couldn't understand why they would neither give birth to another nor adopt. I kept pushing for it, until one time when I was 13, I took it a little bit too far. They were in a press meeting, and I just walked in on them. So, Dad, Mom, you haven't told me why I can't have a brother or sister. Mom and Dad went red in the face and began to sputter. Honey, we... Uh, um... The press had a field day, and my parents were so embarrassed and angry. They exploded on me as soon as we were alone. Never you, ever, ever in your life, ask us about having siblings again! I don't want one! Well, that's one thing you can never have. Don't be so greedy! Tell us don't like this again, and I'm going to get rid of every single painting you think we don't know about! I couldn't bear to have anything happen to my hard work, so after that incident, I stopped asking them for a sibling. I almost resigned my life to one of loneliness. But when I turned 15, a ray of sun burst into my life. In the 10th grade, we were introduced to a new art teacher. Hello everyone, I am Miss Millicent. I will be your art teacher henceforth. On that first day, she asked us to present our best artwork. Seeking to impress, I threw all my passion into my painting. But just as I finished, students had gathered around and were laughing at it. This should be awarded the grossest painting of the century! I wanted to burst out with anger, but of course if I did anything like that, it was sure to be on the headlines tomorrow. So I grabbed the canvas to take it down, but out of nowhere Miss Millicent grabbed my hand. Hey, let me see that. I gave her the painting and waited for more criticism, but she began to gush over it instead. Wow, is this a guy I turned my backpack? It's so beautiful. This is my favorite art so far. Um, thanks. What's your name, gal? I'm Jewel. Even though we were at least 17 years apart, Miss Millicent took a liking to me. And trust me, the feeling was mutual. We would hang out in her office or at the school studio during breaks. Something just and one snapped! She even invited Something me to inside see her of me! Home. But that took an unexpectedly horrible turn. No! No so more! Sorry, That's I can't make it. What? Why? My parents don't even approve of my career choice. They will just go bonkers. So oh, don't worry. I have first-hand experience with strict parents. I can put in a word across to them for you. Can you give me their number? My parents never liked me giving their number to outsiders, but I figured it was okay since Mills and I were friends now. That's my mom's. The name? It's funny, I don't even know your family name. Mrs. Holly Holloway. The moment I mentioned that name, Millicent seemed to freeze over and stared at me like I had grown two heads. I was quickly uncomfortable. Um, are you okay? You, you... Cute stationery. Holloway's daughter? Yes, I am Joel Holloway. What? Without any explanation, she walked out on me. Millicent stopped being nice to me. She wouldn't even stare me a glance in class and would shun me if I tried to get close to her. It got to the point I couldn't take it anymore. Did my mom offend you? 
Why are you ignoring me ever since I told you to, to ask your parents instead? For several days, asking my parents to know what Millicent's deal was was an impossible feat because they were out on a campaign and could only spare pleasantries whenever we talked. I was so restless with curiosity. Thankfully, I soon discovered what was behind her change of attitude. We had a school project and I had to get some items from the basement floor. As I was searching, my hands hit a dusty wooden box hidden at the back of the shelf. What? What's this dusty stuff? Oh, let me guess. Another vintage jewelry used and abandoned by mom. But when I opened the box, I was stunned to see a picture of a girl with black hair and green eyes. Who is this pretty girl? Beneath the photo was a letter. And when I read it... Hello, Mom and Dad. It's been two months since you last sent me. I couldn't believe my eyes. The girl was calling my parents Mom and Dad and asking them for some money. Did my parents have a child I didn't know about? I had to meet her and get answers, but I knew I wouldn't be successful if the guards followed behind me. So I sneaked out of the house. An hour later, I arrived at the address printed on the letter and knocked at the door. And when it opened, I was shocked to see... Miss Millicent? Looking at her now, I could see she was the girl in the picture. What are you doing here? You sent my parents a letter. You called them. Suddenly, she pulled me into the house and shut the door. I sent them that letter years ago. I have a job now, so I don't need their help. Who are they to you exactly? <sighs> your parents' rule are my parents' too. But simply, I am your big sister. By that time, I had put two and two together, but it was still shocking to hear. How? Our parents had me when they were very young, and things were really good for us. But 17 years later, after they gave birth to you, you became the apple of their eyes, and I became like a stranger. They would snap at whatever I did or said. I couldn't oh. take it. What happened? After a verbal match, it turned me rebellious and sent me away to live with mom's sister. I left as soon as I reached adult. By the time Darcy was done telling her story, I was so mad at mom and dad. All of that sounds like teenage hormones acting up. It's not enough to send you out. Well, you're right. But the harm has been done. They don't care about me anymore. And that's why I had to stop talking to you. They know we're in contact. They would go angry bull mode and think I have somehow influenced you. Please go. But we're sisters! Just pretend like you never met me. She shooed me out of her house, and I went home angry at my parents for keeping me away from the sibling I had longed for for years. But I was also excited to know I had a big sis and wanted to know everything about her. So I deafened my ears for her request for me to stay away from her. That's why I kind of showed up at her house the next day. What part of pretend you never saw Something me? Just you Something just snapped! Something inside of me! What's going on here? No! Oh, no no more! Do. That's I mean, it! I don't oh, care! No, do. Something just Thank snapped! You. Something inside of me! The ice broke between Darcy and I, no, and I stumbled no into more. her makeshift That's suit. That's it! I was blown away with the pencil work she had. Ooh. She'll dinner night to celebrate. So, Jewel, we picked a law school for you to attend now that you graduated. You picked a law school for me? Who asked you to do that? We are just doing what is best for you. What's best for me is letting me do what I love that makes me happy. It's either this or, or what? You send me away like you did Millicent? I slapped my hand over my mouth at the mention of Millicent, but it was too late. How did you know about Millicent? Since the cat was out of the bag, I figured I might as well point out their unfair treatment to her. I can't believe that all these years I wanted a sibling. You didn't care to let me know I already had one. What kind of parents are you? How did you become so consumed Let's with pack your career? Let's starting with Hefty Free Soda. I left them gaping in shock and went to my room, hoping that their conscience would prick them enough to bring Oreo Millicent cookie. first thing in the morning. New but what was the opposite? I went to my former high school the next day to find a girl outside my sister's empty office. What's going on here? Let's pack an order starting with Nutella Biscuits. No way into a limo. The description of them fit my bodyguards. It was obvious that my parents were involved in this. Oh, they didn't deny it when I confronted them. Then something them. just snapped! Where did you take her? Something you inside of me! place to live. She's our daughter, all right? No! No more! Just do what That's it! Do. I don't you care! Her, uh, I didn't care anymore! Again. No! I didn't oh, care about being future. better than Kakarot! I didn't care about being Super Saiyan! I didn't care about love! I didn't care about anything! And then, it helped! Be sure to wipe out records of me as your daughter as well. Seeing that my mind was made up, my parents had no choice but to give me my sister's new address. I packed up and went straight to the place, only to see her leaving the suitcase. Melvin! Yeah. What are you doing? I'm a bug! I left them. I refuse to be their puppet anymore. Where are you going? Isn't this the house I gave you? No. You thought I was playing with my stupid hand out there. Yeah, no. I'm leaving. I'm coming with you. This is my baddie. I show what I want. Like you thought I was killing you. Trust me. Damn it, my full share. We moved to another city far away. Thanks to Porter, we went into the art making business full time. Auctioning each finished one. We made good money, enough for me to start college. And without my ex bodyguards hovering over me, I made many friends. For two years, we didn't hear anything from our parents, and we didn't contact them either. Though I missed them a good deal. One day, Millicent came home with big news. Jewel, 
You've got to look at this. Big couple politicians resigned for unknown reason. Parents resigned? For real? Could we be the unknown reason? We would have to wait and see. When we didn't hear anything from them many months after that news, we concluded that their resignation didn't have anything to do with us. But one day, a fast-rising art collector asked to see our studio. And when they arrived... Millicent! Jewel! Mom? Dad? Mom and Dad knelt before us. Millicent? Jewel? We are so sorry. We didn't realize how selfish and greedy we had become until some months back. Please forgive us and let us come back as a family again. It's been over two years since I left. Many more since Millicent. And you expect us That's to just- That's our business card, Jewel. We know we have wronged you two so much that a sorry wouldn't cut it. That's why after we dropped our career, we took up something better fitted for our children's interests. We are art collectors now. And Millicent, we are so sorry. We didn't know how to balance having a new baby with a teenage daughter. Please forgive us. It wasn't easy, but over time I forgave them. And eventually, Millicent did too. We got back together as a family. My former colleagues would pay richly for your artworks. They are so unique. And thanks to our parents becoming our marketeers, we soon became a flourishing family business. The luxury I lived in before forever remained in the past, but I got something better. Loving attentive parents, a big sister, and a simpler free life. And that's life, guys. It's either this or that. Just make sure that when you choose, you choose what truly makes you happy. Something with lasting value. Family. He said I'm good enough. I'm my girl. Think about shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me.